Hi, I'm Dave from Military Antiques Toronto, and today we're going to be discussing two very early Japanese Wakazashi swords. So these two swords have papers. The only reason I buy Japanese swords, well, not the only reason, the only way I buy Japanese swords is if they have papers. Papers are from Japan, obviously, and they show a picture of the tang and shows you the writing on it, so they match. And this specific one here is from 1477, this one in the front. So we have a beautiful hibaki with a really nice suba and some really nice manuki. The manuki are the little miniature figures on each side of the handle. And what that's for is that one goes in the palm of your right hand, one goes in the palm of your left hand when you're holding the sword. The important thing to know about Japanese swords is that A, don't put your fingers all over the blade, and B, polish is very expensive. So if it's been polished, try and take care of it because it's $100 US an inch to polish. And when you're talking a 27 inch sword, that's a lot of bloody money just to, because you couldn't keep your hands in your pockets. So on the next, so that one there is from 14, 1447. And here's, sorry, 1477, there's the paperwork for it. I took it apart so you could see it. This one here at the back is from 1660. There is the information for it. This is the original paperwork that came with it for 1660. Sorry, not for, <laughs> this is the original paperwork uh, and, and uh, pencil sketch, uh, pencil uh, etching of the blade. Sorry, of the maker on the blade. And then this is the current one because they had it redone, showing that information on the blade, on the tang specific. We also get into a really neat little square suba here, which is a sword guard. And in this case, the manuki are wrapped underneath. Again, on left and right, one higher, one lower for when holding a two-handed grip. The polish on both these blades is amazing, especially for their age. And I know they were redone the polish, but it just, it really makes it pop and it's beautiful for display. So those are some of the swords I have in stock on my website. Sometimes they're not on the website. Sometimes we haven't gotten to it yet, but these are some of the items we have in stock. So for more items like this, follow us on YouTube or check the website militaryantiquestoronto.com. Thanks for watching.